and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be looking at how to capture screen recordings using OBS, which is open broadcasting software. I'm just going to open OBS here and just let it load up for a second. And I'm just going to create a new scene just so we can start fresh. And we're going to call this Screen Grab 2. Great. So I just want to create an input source. So I'm going to go Add and I'm going to go to Display Capture. I'm just going to click that here. I'm going to go Monitor or whatever you want to name your source. And here you go. It is in the window. And you just want to scale this to fit whatever you need to. I'll fit this to full screen. If you want to do that, of course, you can choose how you want to do that. But for me, I'm definitely going to capture this full screen. Now, you're almost at the point where you're ready to record now. You've just set up your uh, what you want to be capturing. You can see my audio levels are coming in reasonably well here. One thing you do want to check is that your record destination is where you want it to go. So you're going to go into settings and you're going to go to output. And then you're going to click recording. And now recording path you can browse to wherever it is you want to record the files to. Now, I've already got this set up, so I can just click OK. And actually, I can just click Start Recording. And as you can see, it's begun recording. You can see my CPU load and my frames a second and all that kind of stuff. So excellent. There we go. Now that's recording. I can just press Stop. And that is that. Now, let's go and quickly check and see that something has come up here. I'll just close this. Now let's open an instance of Finder and if we go to Screen Capture OBS Take 2, this is the recording we've just done. We can bring it up with Spacebar and we can see this is us in OBS and it's really that simple. So all you need to do of course is just add whatever input source it is, so in this case a desktop screen capture, display capture, sorry, and you can start recording if you've already got your file path sorted out and then just stop it when you are finished. Um, if you have any questions at all or there's anything you need to ask about, please just comment below and I'll definitely try and get back to you. If you have any more questions or there's a tutorial you would like, please don't hesitate to ask. And as always, if you found this helpful or enjoyable, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe and all that goodness. Thank you for stopping by.